Good afternoon, everybody. Miss Lisa here, and welcome to my living room. We are going to be doing acrobatic classes today, and we are a beginning level. This is a beginning level acrobatic class for ages 5 to 11, approximately. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining me. We are going to be doing our warm up followed by our bridge sequence, and we're gonna add something to that today. Then we're gonna go into some headstands. Um, you'll need a couch or a chair to flip into. You'll need to be barefoot, and we'll work on our cartwheels again. If you are brand, brand new to acro, you can participate today, but I would suggest going back to some of my previous acro videos because we are progressing and we're learning new skills along the way. And if you haven't learned the old skills, you'll be a little bit behind. All right. Now, if you can't do something at home, that's okay. I do have one thing that we're going to need to do with a family member, probably someone taller than you or just about the same size as you if you're a tall child. All right. So we'll talk about that when we get to it. Let's find a spot. Now, if you have some pillows, have those handy. You're not going to need the pillows right now. If you have a mat, spread it out on the ground. If you don't have a mat, you should be fine on your floor for now. But we are going to take a warm-up, and we're going to just jog it out. I'll get my music on, because we like music. All right, guys. Welcome. Jogging. I'm jogging slow, because my body is saying, hey, you haven't exercised yet today. Yeah. You kids have been playing all day, though, so you're all wound up. Go forward and go backwards. Go forward and backwards. All right, in place. Use those arms. Jumping jacks, muscle jumping jacks. And jog around your mat or the floor. I like the mat because it's squishy. So some circles around the room. All right, go the other way. All right, back to the middle. And touch your knees. Climb a wall like Spider Man or Spider Woman. Girl power. Jumping jacks. All right, kick behind you. Kick it in front. And kick it side to side. <laughs> Wave it. And a little Fortnite. And wave it. And tiptoe. And jog it. Because Lisa's having a bad hair day. What? Jog around your mat again? We're going to jog while Miss Lisa does her hair. <laughs> and go the other way. You don't want to get dizzy going one way. All right. Side to side. I'll see if I can do my hair like this. And jog it. <laughs> I just lost it. I just lost the hair. Okay, jog it again. It's taking me a while, guys. All right, kick in front. Use your hands. I'm still braiding my hair. Kick it back. 
I thought my hair was ready to go, but it wasn't. All right, side to side. All right, I'm going to go to the flatness of the floor. You can stand on the mat or your floor and balance. Circle your ankle. Circle the ankle the other way. Other foot. Circle. And circle the other way. <laughs> Is your heart beating fast from all that running? Yeah, it's good for you. All right, guys, here we go. Let's take our roll down and plie your legs. Straighten your legs and plie. Try to keep your hands on the floor when you straighten, but if you can't, you can do this or this or this. Plie. Straighten. Now wiggle your legs. Wiggly, jiggly, jiggle. Plie. Now this time you're gonna hold it for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bend your knees, grab your hands, stretch. Uh oh, lost it. Stretch your shoulders out. And release the hands. Walk it out to letter A position. So this downward facing dog. And move your feet. Like your dances. Yeah. <laughs> All right, push your heels to the mat. Now push one heel to the mat. Oh, yeah. I can feel that. And switch feet. And both feet. <laughs> Excuse me. All right, boys and girls, do your arms. Now, it's a letter A push-up. So you're not doing the regular push-up. You're doing almost like a handstand push-up. All right. Jumping jack feet. Woo, bouncy. All right, leave your feet out. And push-up. Push-up. Again, you're in your letter A position, but your feet are far apart. All right, boys and girls, put your feet together, lift one foot, bent, and push up, push up, push up. Switch feet, bent foot, and push up. And down to your knees, wag your tail. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. And tap back. Up. Down. Up. And down. Up. Down. Up. Down. Shake your tail again. Now round your back up and shake your tail. All right, we're going to do a new step called the dolphin. So you're going to go back into your downward facing dog or the letter A. And you're gonna put your elbows on the floor. Now keep your head off the floor. See how this is shaking her head? Yes. Because my head's not touching. Come back up. And go back down into the dolphin. Dolphin. That's what dolphins say. And come on up. Dog. Dolphin. And everybody in your dolphin, walk your hands in a little bit. Walk your, I mean your feet, <laughs> your feet, not your hands. Walk your feet out, walk your feet in. Walk your feet out, walk your feet in. Keep your head up, walk your feet out, go to your knees. All right, let's do our kicks. These are called bahamas. Hands and feet on your back, one leg straight, and you kick it up. Yeah. How are you feeling today? Are your body feeling like you want to do some cool tricks? Yeah, me too. Kick your head. Is Amaya here today? Amaya, did you join us? I miss you. I miss all my students. Melody, Taya, are you here? 
All right, let's do our other leg. Now, this place is going to turn and face this way so that my camera leg is there. Uh-oh, I might kick my couch. I'm going to have to come like here. Ready? Yeah. Who's joining me today? Is Deja here? Yeah, maybe. All right, let's kick our heads, but careful. You might really seriously kick your eyeballs. So keep your eyes shut a little bit if you're going to kick yourself. Uriah, are you here? Janiah, are you joining us today? Amira, are you here? Melody? All right, guys, face the front. I'm going to face a little bit to the corner. You're going to bend the foot. Someone text it. Oh, that's, I thought it was one of you guys. Let's grab our foot and do the tiger stretch. One, two, three, four. Make a big window up there. Five, six. Maybe a tiger could jump through that window. What? All right, try the other side. Make a big window for the tigers to jump through. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now, boys and girls, sometimes you can't find your balance in the tiger stretch. So I can remind you what you can do is you can come next to some furniture. All right? But don't get to see how I'm not leaning on the furniture. I'm close to it. I lift my foot. Uh oh, now I'm leaning on it. But now I'm off. And then if I start to fall, I'm leaning on it. Uh oh, now I'm falling this way. But at least you can practice doing it slightly against some furniture or the wall. Okay? Usually at home, we don't have a lot of wall, empty wall space. All right, let's keep going. Let's do our bow pose. And that is like a, a rocking pose. All right. We're on our tummies. We're grabbing our feet, our ankles, and lift it up, and rock it, and rock it. Hope you just didn't eat your dinner, because Miss Lisa did, and I can feel it in there. And take your hands on the ground, push your arms straight, and touch your head to your toes. Uh-oh, I didn't mean to turn the music off. Keep going. Head, come down, grab your ankles again, and lift up. Yes, feet together, feet apart. Feet together, feet apart. I spent so many nights putting my feet apart. I put my feet together, rock it. Petra, are you here joining us today? All right, guys. Maybe Cheyenne's joining us. Arms straight, everybody. Touch your head to your toes. Now, if you're not able to, that's okay. You can keep practicing. I think with practice, we'll get it. If you can, and it's easy to touch your nose and toes. Or maybe touch your chin with your toes. And curl into your turtle shell. And then my turtle shell sleeping. I'm just rocking myself in my turtle shell. Turtles, roll onto your back and stretch. Stretch your turtle legs out. Rock yourself. Oh, yeah, little turtles. That's the problem with being a turtle. You get put on your back and it's hard to knock yourself back over. All right, curl into your ball. All right, onto your bottom. Rock and roll your back. Yeah. I'll turn a little sideways so you can see me. Now this time we're going to stay up. Hold your back. Feet to the ceiling. Yay! Candlestick. Ride your bike. Candlestick. Broken candlestick. And split. Diamonds. Ride your bike. Let go while you ride your bike. 
and grab your back candlestick and let go in your candlestick. And a broken candlestick. Hands on the floor. Flip. Diamonds. All right, boys and girls, hold your back if you need to. Put your knees on the floor and flip it over. Woo! Oh, yeah. And let's circle our head because sometimes your neck feels a little tight after that. And circle your head the other way. I need a neck massage after all this stress. I was praying, I was and why? Yeah, all right. Let's do our, hmm, we did our dolphin. I wanted to practice that. I thought there was one more new thing I wanted to do. Oh, I did it. There's a one-handed table I want to practice. So it's not the bridge, it's the table, okay? So we'll do the two-handed table and then the one-handed table today. So a table's different. You start on your bottom. Your hands and feet are on the floor. You lift up. Lift your tummy like a table. Look up at the ceiling. Stay. If you were a real table, you'd have to stay here a long time as people were heating off your tummy. Come down. Now, this time, when we go up, we're going to lift one hand up. All right? And what you're going to do is almost try to take it behind you a little bit. So I'll turn this way a little bit so you can see my back side. So watch this, Lisa. I'm going up at my table, and then I'm reaching my hand back. Everybody try it. Try your other hand. Come on down. All right, boys and girls, it will help you in the table. Instead of having your fingers towards your bottom, have your fingers behind you. Because when you go up and then you lift, your fingers are already in a comfortable position. Okay, so try it. Try it. Lift your tummy really high. Look behind you. And come down. All right, other hand, finger fingernails away from your bottom. All right, we're going up with one hand. And look behind you. La, 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 lift your tummy high. Tummies, 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 tummies. Tummies come down. So that's the table. It looks pretty cool, huh? It's a good one. Let's do our bridge. We're gonna go, now if you've been doing this with me, you know the sequence. Let me just tell it to you. You're gonna go up in your bridge. You're gonna rock your bridge from side to side. Well, it's front and back actually. And then you'll wave, then you'll wave, then you'll do one foot, boop, then you'll do the other foot. And then you'll jump eight times. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down and rest. So we're gonna try to do the whole sequence, staying up, not coming down at all. Good luck on our marks. It's not a race though. It's never a race. It's not who can do it the fastest. Who can do it the best? Meaning, does that look good or does it look sloppy? Good is better than sloppy. All right, ready? Into position, fingernails towards your shoulders. Lift your tummy and your arms at the same time. And here we go, we're up. Rock yourself front and back. Oh yeah, feels good. Now you're going to take one hand and wave it. Other hand. All right, you're gonna take one foot. Have your feet a little close together for this. Toe to your knee, toe to the ceiling. You are now decorated like a Christmas tree. Come back down, other side. One of my students, Jen, and her sister, they decorated a Christmas tree recently because they had nothing else better to do. Come down, jump it 10 or eight times. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down. Woo! Circle your wrist. If you feel it anywhere, it will be in the wrist. Like a really old lady. This place is an old lady. All right, guys, rock and roll your back. Here we go. Rock it out. 
It's a massage for your back. Ah, it feels great. It feels excellent, spectacular, and phenomenally awesome. All right, butterfly stretch for a minute because we rest our wrist. Whoo! Elbows down. Remember, if you touch your face, luckily you're at home. If you're touching your face a lot, you have to wash your hands, and you're not supposed to touch your face. So in instances like that, you can just do this. All right, we're going to come up. Let's practice our headstand sequence from the other day, okay? Now, if you don't have a mat, you're going to need probably a little bit wider pillow because if you get a little pillow, your head might fall off of it. So have a little bit wider pillow. Set it on the floor next to a couch or a chair that's squishy because you need a squishy surface to land on so that it will protect you. Now, let's review. So if you joined me yesterday, this is what we did yesterday. And if you weren't here yesterday, I'm going to show you the sequence. The sequence means you're doing more than one thing. You're going to do one. Okay, let me count how many things. Tripod, tuck, one leg, one leg, tripod, tuck, flip. Seven things, actually eight if you lift your tummy up at the end. So eight different things on this, and it's a difficult sequence, but I like it. It's kind of fun. So we're going to go into the tripod. You can either watch or try it as I do it, and if you don't know what I'm doing, just come out of your tripod and look for the next thing. I'll kind of go slow so you can see it. So you should already know how to do a headstand. If not, you're going to be in this puppy position, all right? And you're going to put your head down. Now move your hands back by your knees. All right. Then, now you're not on the forehead. That would be weird, wouldn't it? Like this. Oh, I'm on my forehead. Sometimes we do that. We do acro skills with that. But you're on top of your head. So head is on your pillow. Hands are by your knees. Tiptoe up. Walk your feet in and balance your legs on your arms. This is called the tripod. Everybody can try it. Now, after the tripod, I want you to try to tuck. So your legs are just in a tucked position, but they're not touching your arms anymore. Then you're gonna do one leg up, and then you're gonna go back into your tuck, switch legs, one leg. Then you're gonna go back down into your tripod. Boop, 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 boop. Then you're going to go into your tuck. Take your time. Don't rush because you'll just fall. Then you're going to take your feet bent, your legs bent behind you, and land on the couch. Lift your tummy up. Okay? So my tummy's lifted really high. Now I'm going to kick one leg over and land back down. All right? So let's try it. I'm going to talk you through it. Now when I'm done, I like to pull on my head. Pull on my head, make sure my head and neck are still long. All right, let's try it again. We're gonna go into the tripod. If you forget what you're doing, just stop and take a peek at the camera. Look at Miss Lisa and you can figure it out. But it's a full sequence. Let's get some music in the background. All right, here we go. Head on the floor, on your pillow. And I want your hands by your knees. And you're gonna go up on your tiptoes, walk it in. And balance your legs on your arms. Tripod. Hold it there. Tripod. All right. Take a tuck position. And that's when your knees are off your legs. Try one leg up to the sky. Now, if you fall on your couch, start over. And go into the tuck. Try the other leg. Take it up slowly because slower you can kind of balance. If you go fast, it might throw you off your balance. All right. Go back down into your tuck. Tripod. Boop, boop, boop. All right. We're going to go back into our tuck and bend your knees. Touch the couch. Woo! Tummy up high. So don't stay there too long. Your tummy is going to be high. You kick over and you come back down and feel the blood coming back out of your head to the rest of your body. So your body is filled with blood, of course, you know that. 
And when you're upside down, the blood likes to go to your brain. I guess it's extra blood to your brain. All right, rest your wrist circle. How did you do? Did you do well on that? Were you able to flip over? I hope so. We're going to continue on. I just need my wrist to get a little rest. Stand up. I need to my neck. Everybody do a neck. Oh, do you feel shorter or taller now that you're on your head? Pull on your head. All right, let's practice our scissor kicks. Now, scissor kicks mean, I'll face this way for a minute. You'll pick one leg to have in front, strong arms in front. You'll put your hands on the ground. You'll kick one leg, the other come up. Now, that wasn't very good because I was going slowly. All right, I'm going to face this way, though, because then if I want to flip over to my couch, it's right there. So strong arms, you're going to go up, kick, kick, come down. All right, let's do some more. Keep going. Scissor kick. Our scissor kicks get us ready for a nice cartwheel. And handstands too. All right, one foot in front to prep. And scissor kick. And make sure you're switching your legs up there. Scissors. If you can't find any scissors, just use your legs. <laughs> you need to cut some paper, just use your legs. Just kidding, it doesn't work that way. Scissors. And some more scissors. And some more. Two more. Now, let's take those scissors that we just practiced into our cartwheel. So, I'm going to pull my mat out a little bit away from the couch. So, there's two ways you can do it. You can do it this foot, or you can do it this foot. I just remembered, Miss, this has got a lamp right here that I'm probably going to kick if I cartwheel. So, I'll have to move back to the couch. It's nice to have the lamp right here and the lights, but I just don't want to keep my foot on it. All right, so if you're going to do this foot, your fingers point this way, okay? If that feels like a good foot for your scissor kick, your hands are not going to be normal, though. Mm -mm. Nope. Same arm as leg, then put this one on top, okay? So this hand and this foot, this one on top. Place your hands. Now my finger, my fingernails are going towards my couch. Fingernails to the couch. Scissor leg. Jump over a puddle. There is a giant puddle right here. And I once tried to get through a puddle. I had tennis shoes on. Someone had to carry me over the puddle. That was very nice of them. All right. So this foot, this arm, go over the top. You're on top. And you're going to go hands on the floor, fingers to the couch, and scissor kick. Scissor kick. Let's try it. Now, you're actually kind of doing a wheel. You kind of look like a wheel turning, like your bicycle. Let's try. Now, if this is not your favorite side, if this is your favorite side, practice. Practice a lot. If this is your favorite side, this hand, fingers towards my TV. Go on top with this one. Look at my head. All right, you're going to place the fingers towards the TV. Scissor kick. All right, if your legs are bent, that's okay because you're just getting how uh, you're just figuring out how to do your cartwheel. If you're good at your cartwheels, you can practice two-handed or one-handed cartwheels while I teach the other kids just the basics of a cartwheel. Okay, so let's try some of these. Maybe you've been practicing the whole time. I've been jabbing my mouth. All right. I'm going to keep practicing because I need help with this side. Fingers towards my TV. Ugh, this leg bent. I could feel it. I think I even saw it bend. I'll have to rewatch this video at a later date. All right. Let's do two more. Pick your favorite side or your least. Hey, Maybe if you're good at one side, you could try your bad side, like Miss Lisa's doing, my bad side. I'm just going to call it my not-so-good side, so then this side doesn't know anything. It thinks it's still pretty good. All right? 
practice a few more. And all right, I want to practice. We have one minute. I want to practice a bridge walking. I'm sure some of you know how to do it already, but it's going to be a fun. If you look like a spider, have you heard of Anansi the spider? Well, Anansi's the trickster doing tricky moves, I guess. So you're going to be a spider by going into your bridge, everybody. So you're going to try to walk down your mat. So when I'm upside down, I'm looking for the TV and I'm looking for the end of the mat. All right, so you're pushing up. Everybody try it with me. All right, you're going to walk down your mat. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you look, do I look like a spider? And rest. And bring your legs up to finish. And coming up, legs straight out in front. Stretch your elbows to your knees. And elbows to the floor. And hands to your feet, head down. Breathing. And come on up, open the arms, and give yourself a round of applause. So boys and girls, I hope you join me for the next round of acrobatics. It will take place Wednesday morning or next Thursday. So join me right here on Miss Lisa's YouTube channel. You can also look for some old copies of Acro and practice before then, because then you're gonna get better and better and better. Now, I have a hip hop class right after this, so if you'd like to join me for hip hop, just log on to my YouTube link and we'll have some fun. We've got a new routine that we're working on too, so that will be exciting. So thank you everyone, have a good evening. And this is Miss Lisa over and out from the US Virgin Islands. <laughs>